Okay, first we have to import the JPEG file we're going to convert to a vector. I chose Texaco JPEG as my file. As you can see, it is a uh, pretty small on the screen. It'll zoom in right now. And I'm going to place it on its own layer. It's a grayscale bitmap. Convert that layer. Well, first got to make a new layer because that layer will become our vector layer. And then I'm going to create one more that's for our text so we can redo the text code as well. And rename the first one, which is a default layer one, to bitmap. I'm also going to lock it so I can move it and turn off the print icon so it won't be viewable on the screen when I go to F9. Here I zoom into the logo and start bringing in my guidelines. What the guidelines purpose is, is that we're going to create this logo by letting Corel draw snap to each guideline to give us a very accurate representation of this logo. As you can see that we've zoomed in, it's highly bitmapped. It is very pixelated. It is not a usable uh, logo as it sits. So what I'm doing here is bringing down more guidelines. As I bring in from the ruler to the left, that brings it vertical. And the ruler from the top brings it horizontal. And if you look closely, I'm bringing in a guideline to every point intersection where that Bezier curve, which is what we're going to use to create the logo, will snap to. So every place that we change direction, we want to create an intersection of guidelines. And you'll see there's quite a bit on here, but we're going to use as many as necessary because I don't think there's a limit to Corel Draw's amount of guidelines. So use them, use them freely. They clutter the screen after a while, but when we're done, we'll remove them out of the way completely. So here I'm following around looking for where I may have missed an intersection. And I'm seeing I'm, now I'm checking all the way around the star to make sure I got every corner where well, I'm going to change directions. And so far so good. Now we're on the T. And it looks like I'm ready to create my image now. So now, go to the oval tool. Let's create the circle first. Okay. As you can see, it's outside the guidelines, so I'm going to tell it to snap the guidelines from the view menu. Now it's going to those nodes at the top and left and right allow me to resize it and as you see I'm sizing it and it's snapping to the guideline it's nearest to. Okay, now I right mouse click on the red and I get a red outline so I can see it clearly. Now I'm going to go to the Bezier tool and start at the first intersection and just follow around the star everywhere I created an intersection. Pretty simple to do and I did one error on it purpose so I could show you how to fix a, move, a location you may have clicked and just follow around the T. Once we get around the T, the rest of the star. And we'll convert this as well to color red and combine everything and make our logo. Okay? So once we've done that, go back to the shape tool, or the red tool, excuse me, to give it a red outline. And I see that I have to resize that, reshape that node. So the shape tool gives me the ability to straighten that out. Now I want to combine everything, but it looks like I haven't selected all my objects. So double click on that pick tool, and it shows me I haven't selected everything. So I select it all, go to range, click on combine. Now it's all one object. Now when I right mouse click, I see everything. 